Hi all, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, uh, I'm going to bring you <coughs> the steps on how to actually flash the stock ROM back to the Nexus 7 2013. Um, frankly, this tablet itself has uh, currently is running Lineage OS. So um, it has been pretty reliable so far. Things have been doing fine with this tablet. I've used it for like for the past few years. And it's still performing pretty good even up to today um, in terms of um, responses and <clears throat> and all the things that it has. So um, the stocks, the stock ROM comes in uh, Android Marshmallow. I mean that's the end. So they updated it up to like maybe one one year ago or stuff. So if you are okay with that, you can actually keep using the stock ROM. Uh, and I think the performance has been pretty well. But for my case, um, it it depends on individual. So if you like to have a stock ROM kind of feeling, you can actually just revert back to stock ROM and use it as your daily driver. If you prefer some um, more update in security patches and stuff, then you can actually switch to the Lineage OS. I do have another video for that, so just uh, keep stay tuned for that. So for this video itself, we will make sure that um, I will go through with you guys the steps on how to flash um, stock ROM back to the back to the um, Nexus 7 2013 tablet itself. So first of all, what you need to do would be uh, enable developer option. So if you look at your developer option, now it's enable. If it's not enable, what you need to do is just go to build number and just tap seven times. The developer option will be available. So once you go to a developer options, you can actually check out some of the uh, stuff. Android debugging needs to be turned on. I don't think they have OEM unlocking here unless you're on the stock ROM. So uh, I think that's all you need. So once you have that ready, then we'll move on to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, so before we start doing any kind of like flashing and stuff, then please make sure that you have the uh, Google Factory image downloaded. This is the latest one for the Nexus 7 2013. And also get it extracted out into a folder. So because we'll need to use it, then we are going to flash back to stop Factory ROM. Uh, but besides that, then there are a few things. You make sure that you have Google USB driver installed. You need to make sure that you have um, ADB installed as well. So what I've been using is minimal ADB and fast boot. Uh, that's the easiest one so far for all the stuff that we are doing. So um, I'll leave a link down below in the comments so that our uh, description so that you guys can actually download this stuff before we start the process. So once you have done all that, then we will move on to the next step. Okay. So once we have everything downloaded and. Uh, tablet connected to your PC. What you can do now is launch minimal ADD and fast boot. So from here itself, what you can do is do ADD devices to ensure the device is connected. So you see, as you can see, the device is now connected. So what you can do next is do an ADD reboot boot loader. This will basically brings you to the fast boot mode where you can actually flash the items inside your tablet itself. So you just press enter. Okay, so once you're in fast boot mode, what you can do now is to do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected in fast boot mode. As you can see, it's connected now. So normally, what we'll do is to uh, navigate to the directory that we that we have our files on. So normally, it's here. So what we need to do is to do a CD and. CD go into the Razer folder. Do a DRS slash W. As you can see, this is all the stuff that we have. Normally, what we have, we do now is just to run the flash all dot that, and that will actually erase everything and uh, start off the uh, flashing process back to stock. That's the easiest way to do. If you need to do a manual way, I have another video that shows about that, which I'll link in the description <coughs> uh, below. So you just follow the link there to. Uh, flash it manually one by one on all the image file. So for now we'll just do a easiest way which is just run the flash all that. Okay, so what we need to do now is to do a flash flash all dot dat. So when you do that <coughs> they will start the process of flashing it back to stop. If you see this message you can just ignore it. The message will be there. It will, it will go past these matches, so just leave it. Uh, 
Okay, as you can see now, the uh, flash is completed and the tablet is rebooting now. So we'll move over to the tablet itself for the rest of the process. Okay, so as you can see now, the tablet is rebooting for the first time. This will take a, a while. So um, I'll talk to you again after the tablet gets rebooted. Okay, as you can see, the tablet has been booted up. So we can just put on next. Uh, you can choose to skip this, but some, somehow rather let me just key in the Wi-Fi network. So after the Wi-Fi network is connected, <coughs> then they will be checking connections. Take, well, this will take a while, so let's just wait it up. Okay, as you can see, once it's done, uh, for this one, for this case, I mean you can copy from Google account and stuff, but for this case, I'll do a no thanks. What I plan to do with this tablet is to actually use it for my vehicle. I can put it there for my music, for my navigation and stuff. So I'll just keep it. So next. Um, not now. Next. So next. Okay. So you are done. So this is the default uh, default set of like you see wallpapers and stuff for the uh, Android marshmallow itself you take a look at the about tablet so it's running on android 6 august 5th 2016 to so be patch so this is the latest stock rom is available for this tablet but like what i said i mean they, they still works well i mean don't don't get me wrong i mean they are actually fun functioning well they are still pretty snappy pretty good but um if you want the latest security patch and stuff then you will need to go for custom ROM and the one that I would recommend would be Lineage OS because that, that is one of the most um, I think supported custom ROM and they have the um, I don't know a lot of features that is available to make this uh, the experience for using this tablet a more pleasant one right but like I said stock has the advantages as well but the security patch is up to 2016 it's not the latest so if you have worries about that then you should actually move on to custom ROM Okay, that's all for the video today, guys. Um, this is how you actually flash the uh, Nexus 7 2013 back to the stock factory settings. This step is pretty good if you want. You are selling out some of your, I mean, if you are selling your tablet to somebody else, you can actually do this to make sure that everything get clean up and stuff, and um, yeah, sell it away. But like I said, uh, this is still a pretty capable, capable uh, tablet itself. So if you want to plan to keep it. It's better to use custom ROM. So that's all for today guys. So if you like the video I'm doing, please give me a please give a thumbs up on this video and do subscribe to my channel for any future uh, devices and gadgets, the DIY tutorial that I'll be doing. Um, and that's all for today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.